it's Betsy from Cutting Corners Vinyl in Nederland, Texas. In today's video, we're gonna go over how to apply adhesive vinyl to a textured plastic surface like this. Now, if you don't remember, I bought this bucket at Hobby Lobby. It's from their Springs like area. I wanna put blankets in it at home. This retailed for $19.99, but I got it 40% off, so I think it was $11.99. So, you're gonna need your bucket your vinyl, which I am using the Oracle 651 in matte black, transfer tape, and a hair dryer. So if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, we'll go over how to make this. So as you can see, I have my blanket basket laid out, and then I have my text already cut and weeded because that, it to me, is not the most important part of this design. The most important part is making sure that it is stuck down because I know a lot of people do complain that, you know, textured surfaces are more difficult that they'll want to raise. So one thing I do is I'm making sure this is all squeegee down good. Okay. So now we're gonna remove the transfer tape slowly. See how difficult it is to get it to stick to surfaces like this? Part of the problem too is like on this, because it is a basket, it wants to lift too. So since it's still wanting to lift, I'm gonna grab my hair dryer. This is just an old Revlon hair dryer. And we're just gonna take and heat up Okay, so that really helps it adhere. So let's go slowly. So, again, we're still going very slow with this because we're gonna reheat it after we get this down, okay? So we've got the first letter down, pretty much. Now I'm going to take the hair dryer. So as you can see, as I'm applying heat, it's going into those little grooves so that way you can see that it's like adhering. And this is, it sometimes does take some practice. I mean, it really does. And if you have issues, just go slowly because you can always re-stick things down. So, see what I mean? Just take it. Lift that little arm. Okay. And this is more difficult than some of the other projects that you would do this on. And that is because this isn't a hard surface to squeegee onto, which does add to the difficulty of this project, just in case you're wondering. And then once you have it really heated on there well, you shouldn't have a whole lot of problems because once it's cured, after it's heated for about 24 hours, it's permanent. And it will take some work to get it off there. So as you can see, I'm just working my transfer tape slowly down. Okay. Now, so you can see it's pretty much all on there. Okay, now we're gonna take the hair dryer. Okay. 
but you see how I'm going over each letter and you see how the further I go over it, how that is going into the plastic. See how that K is setting on it, watch. And you can use a heat gun for this, but I mean, now we got it permanent on there. It's not gonna go anywhere. It will last and that really helps. So if you'll give me a moment to change the camera angle, we'll go over everything we just did. Look how cute this bucket came out. And as you can see, the letters are on there. They're not going anywhere, but sometimes just applying a little bit of heat helps. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you hit the notification bell icon next to it, that will notify you when I post new videos, which is typically every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and a live at five on Tuesdays. We'll see y'all later. Bye.